All right, today we're gonna to talk about fixing a mistake or maybe putting a little bit of a Band-Aid on a mistake. Now, this is something that happens every time a new pistol drops or maybe when people make their first purchase. Say you run out, you buy that new new, maybe you get something like that 43X when it first came out right here. You can see that's the silver slide, pretty basic, nothing really going on there. Or you run out and you get the 48 when it comes out or you get the Shield Plus or the Raider Shield or whatever new pistol it is. And then five, six months down the road, it seems manufacturers are almost doing this on purpose. They release the optics ready version. So up until now, I've not seen a fix for that because the fixes for that that I've seen kind of sucked. Or you had to send your slide out and wait like five, six, eight, 10, 12 weeks or more to get a mill job done and get that thing sent back to you. And it costs a lot of money, both in the milling, the recerocoding and all that stuff that goes on. But as you can see on my sexy slab of peanut butter shield plus right here that was not an optics ready version from the factory i have an option for you that does not suck from dove adaptive mounting solutions All right, before we go any further, we have to pay the bills real quick with the help of True Shot. They are the main ammo sponsor here for the channel. Really good friends of mine out in Tempe, Arizona. They keep everything here banging on the range. They can do the same for you. Make sure you check them out and tell them you like to bang too. All right, now that that is all over, let's take a good up close look at what you get with this Dove Adaptive Mounting Solutions plate here because it's more than most things out there offer. All right, let's take a good up close look at this mounting plate from Dove Adaptive Mounting Solutions here. So we're gonna take a look at it on my personal Shield Plus here, and then we'll take a look at the kit and the parts so you have a really good idea, both on and off what you are looking at. So talking about the fit here, you can see it is extremely flush to that slide. There is no gap up here. I've got several hundred rounds for this thing. There's no bending, there's no warping, nothing going on there. Um, on the side here, you'll see that circular hole. That's for a pin punch, so you can drive it in there, and then ultimately, as we'll look later, set the set screw underneath into that dove mount so it doesn't eat itself off the slide under recoil. Uh, it is pretty slim to the slide, but there's going to be a very minimal amount of overhang, kind of right there. I know it might be tough to see. Uh, very minimal. It's, a, it's just as wide as the optic itself. So whatever the optic would be hanging over on the slide, that's what the plate is going to be as well. Talking about that rear sight that is integrated into the mount right there, you can see it is very nice and clean, completely darked out. You do have that kind of high-vis uh, sight in the front, that fiber optic. You'll get a green and a red. Choice is up to you, depending on the color dot you're running. A couple purposes are served by having this up here. One, it'll keep the brass from hitting the glass in your optic. And two, should your hand ever go down, um, you can't run that slide you can run it off of the site rather than having to hit it off your optic. I know that's not an optimal thing to do, but it's life, things happen. Maybe you have an injury on your hand and you gotta use the slide to manipulate that for self-defense, completely up to you. Now, looking at that front sight, you'll see it's quite tall. It's about a suppressor height, which would you would expect. And it has the fiber optic. You can choose dovetail on this version and then Glock sights obviously would be Glock sights. And you drive that thing in there and you're good to go. The good thing here is these are set to the right height for each other. I know there's a valley back here in the optic itself. That may or may not be the right height for your front sight. So you could run into some angle problems there if you know what I'm talking about as far as your sight alignment and sight picture and all that. If you're too short in the front or too tall, it's gonna throw your shots way off. So these are made for each other and that's part of the point. That plate will be made out of 17-4 steel. It is nitride coated, which is a very nice stuff. So. This is the actual mount itself. It's still in the bag right here. <clears throat> and I'm not gonna cut it out, but you can see in there, you've got that set screw right there in the center. You're gonna use a little bit of Loctite on that and that is going to secure that thing completely onto that slide so you don't have any problems. In there you can see you're gonna have a set of low profile optic screws. You'll have your front sight and then your tubes. And it actually comes with three different colors. I thought it only came with the two, but you'll get a black a green or a red so you can put whatever color your heart desires now if you don't have punches and loctite and all that stuff they do have a little kit for you so it'll come with the punch and the loctite 
and that's your installation kit. It is sold separately. So we'll talk about price, performance, my overall feelings on this. And then is there anything you need to look out for since you're adding a little bit of height here when it comes to the Dove Adaptive Mount? All right, let's go ahead and talk about the performance of the Dove Adaptive Mounting Solutions plate here. I know that's a big mouthful of stuff, but the reason I like this one is a lot of the other ones I've seen just kind of suck. They were either, they were too thick, they were just so tall that it just was really weird when you were bringing the pistol up into your eye line, or they didn't have that center set screw in there. So even though this is dovetailed in there pretty solid, that center set screw is what's gonna help you out there keep this thing where it's supposed to be. So I've seen these things literally on friends that have tried different brands out, just yeet right off the, right off the slide. Uh, because the, eventually there's so much weight here when this, this thing is reciprocating back and forth. If you don't have a set screw in the center, mounting plates like this can come loose and eventually probably will work their way loose. So that's a huge positive for me. The 17.4 steel is also a big positive. I've seen people making these out of aluminum before. That's really just a bad idea because aluminum is not gonna give you the strength that steel does. And the biggest thing, and I know somebody's already asked it in the comments, what about flexing of this plate? I will say you do not notice that out on the range. I've actually seen ones where you can grab them and with minimal strength, just push up and bend them. Not the case here. Now, if you torque the heck out of this thing, of course you're gonna be able to bend it. But out there on the range, I've got a couple hundred rounds through this thing, which sucks by the way, because loading these little mags, and I only have, I think, three mags for this thing, is really kind of a pain in the butt. So I didn't have any problems with flexing, any of that stuff. It didn't move from side to side. I didn't have any shift on it at all. So that was a huge positive as well. Another one of the big positives here is you actually maintain a set of usable sights here. Now I know there is a little valley in the back of the optic right here. That's not always the best because depending on the height of your optic, the height of your front sight, does it match up with the height of that valley in the rear optic? Because you could really be at an off angle and since this is such a short pistol, that's gonna make big differences out there. So the fact that the dove mount here has the rear sight in front of the optic, one, kind of protects the glass a little bit, but two, it's the right height. So when you're taking aim out there, if you should have to use your iron sights, say the optic goes down, you're gonna have a real sight picture that's the right height. You're not gonna have any weird elevation issues out there. Some of you may not care about that, but for me, that's a backup iron sight that I wanna make sure if I need it is gonna work and it's gonna put that round where I want it to go. Well, what about that price? Because I know somebody's already asking in the comments as well. So for the mounting plate and the front sight, which you're gonna get a red and a green fiber optic tube. So you can go with whichever you prefer. Say you have a red dot like this RMSC, and you want that backup site to be green so you can know the difference between the two, that is gonna cost you 85 bucks. So if you have the tools, you can throw that thing in and you're good to go. Overall, I don't think that's a bad price because most sets of good sites are gonna cost you about 60, 85 bucks, even over hundred bucks sometimes. So the fact that you're getting the optics mount, a rear sight and a front sight in the package, not a bad deal. Now, if you don't have punches or Loctite, they do sell a kit with the punch so you can drive the front sight in and it comes with Loctite as well, which you're gonna wanna use on that retaining screw in there. And that's $12. So basically max you're gonna be out for the kit and an installation kit should you need it is about right at a hundred bucks. Now, if you wanna compare that price to this Glock 43X, which I'm going to be sending out to get some slide work done, the mill job alone is 80 bucks from the company that I went with. It's very reputable to re the slide is another 150 bucks. And then if I want anything else done, that's additional. So kind of compare and contrast that choice. Now, are there advantages to getting a direct milled slide? Absolutely, your optics gonna sit lower. You can probably use the factory sights if they are good ones. And it might be a little bit more solid because it's right into the entire slide instead of just being like a mount over it. The downside to that is that's gonna cost me a couple hundred dollars and probably four to six weeks of my life without that pistol. If you only have one pistol, say a Shield Plus like this, and you want an optic, you can buy something like this, put it on and be back in business as soon as you confirm your zero. And then you're only spending about 85 to 100 bucks, depending on if you have the tools to do it yourself. Well, that's what I have for you all today. So if you have a Shield Plus or a Shield or an EZ or a Glock 48 or 43X or something like that, and it wasn't the optics ready version and you don't want to have to send it out to get milled or you don't want to have to trade it in or buy another one and spend all that money. This is a very good option. Finally, the first one that I found that I would actually use and carry because 
that's my pistol. And I know based on the retaining screw and how this installed, it's not going to yeet itself off the slide. So if you're looking for something like that to get in the optics game, check them out. It's a solid setup for a solid price. Make sure you get subbed up down below and let me know in the comments, would you actually run a mount like this? Because I'm really curious to know some people are all for it and some people are not. Give the video a like, leave that comment. Make sure you get subscribed down below. Get on the range, have some fun. Remember, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. I will see you all on the next one.